Starship is not just another rocket aimed at launching satellites. It's designed for much grander goals, one of which is to return Americans to the moon after decades. This ambitious goal is part of NASA's contract for a special version of the Starship, called the Human Landing System. However, there have been some problems that have caused concerns at NASA, which might lead to major changes or even the cancellation of this program. We'll cover this topic in our video today. Before we get into the details, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Starship and other major achievements by SpaceX. Most rocket companies focus on a single mission which is developing spacecraft and launching them with a client's payload, similar to how one might rent a car for occasional use. However, SpaceX operates differently. They don't just launch satellites, they also create and deploy their own, such as the Starlink Constellation, which aims to provide global broadband internet coverage. This project serves both as a business venture and a strategic step toward funding the company's more ambitious goals. Our topic today centers on another very important project SpaceX is working on, which is the Human Landing System, or HLS. The Starship Human Landing System is a variant of SpaceX's Starship spacecraft designed for NASA's Artemis missions aimed at returning humans to the moon. Unlike other lunar lander designs, the HLS is intended to be fully reusable. It is developed under a substantial contract with NASA valued at $2.9 billion. This contract includes the execution of an uncrewed demonstration mission, followed by a crewed lunar landing, initially planned for no later than 2024, but now facing delays. The original timeline has been pushed back several times, with the first crewed lunar mission now rescheduled for September 2026. During a recent update from SpaceX's Boca Chica facility, Musk disclosed significant issues with this program, particularly the spacecraft's reduced payload capacity and ongoing engine challenges. Previously, Starship was expected to carry between 100 to 150 tons to low Earth orbit. However, this capacity has now been revised down to about 40 to 50 tons. This drop isn't because they changed the rocket's size or the type of fuel it uses, which have stayed the same. Instead, it seems to be because they've added new features to make the spacecraft safer. These might include better shielding to protect against space debris and using stronger materials to help the spacecraft last longer. This change has big implications. Even though Starship can now carry less than before, its capacity of 40 to 50 tons is still pretty good, especially compared to older spacecraft like the Space Shuttle, which could carry about 27 tons to low Earth orbit. This means Starship can still carry more than the Space Shuttle could. However, the reduced capacity could affect missions involving human space travel. Fewer supplies or smaller crews might be sent up at one time, requiring more trips for big projects like building bases on the Moon or Mars. SpaceX has also added extra shielding around each of the 33 engines on the Super Heavy booster. This additional mass directly decreases the payload that the rocket can carry. In addition to the extra shielding, SpaceX has installed a steel hot staging ring on the Starship. This ring is an important feature, as it allows for the engines to be fired while the booster and spacecraft are still connected. The concept of hot staging is not new, and was prominently used in Soviet-era rockets like the Soyuz. Hot staging involves igniting the engines of the next stage before the current stage has been completely discarded. This method eliminates the need for complex ignition systems in the vacuum of space and reduces the time between stage separations. Although this modification is intended to increase the overall efficiency of the spacecraft by about 10%, SpaceX has not yet confirmed whether this theoretical benefit has been realized in actual flight conditions. The additional weight of the steel hot staging ring does have the drawback of reducing the overall payload capacity that the Starship can carry into orbit. The principle behind these changes can be explained by the rocket equation. This equation relates a rocket's payload capacity to its mass and the specific impulse of its engines. Essentially, any increase in the mass of the rocket's upper stage necessitates a reduction in payload capacity, as both need to reach orbit. The additional safety features compromise the payload efficiency of the Starship. 
this diminished payload capacity has serious implications for SpaceX's planned missions, including the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. The Starship HLS, specifically designed for lunar missions, now requires more fuel and potentially more refueling missions to accomplish its objectives. More refueling missions increase the complexity, cost, and duration of the lunar mission. For instance, if the payload capacity remains at the lower limit, the number of required refueling flights could double. This scenario complicates the logistics of the mission, requiring a greater number of launches and more planning and coordination. Moreover, the reliability of the Raptor engines, which power the Starship, is another concern. The development of the Raptor 3 engine, which provides 22% more thrust than the Raptor 2, is critical. However, if these new engines fail to meet performance expectations, it could lead to delays in certifications and consequently push back the timeline of the Artemis mission. In response to these challenges, SpaceX may need to develop new variants of the Starship with higher payload capacities. With the current variant of the Starship, SpaceX has already conducted three orbital flight tests and is now preparing for the fourth one. The first test, conducted on April 20, 2023, aimed to demonstrate the integrated capabilities of Starship with the Super Heavy booster. Unfortunately, this ended in the vehicle being destroyed shortly after liftoff. Despite this setback, the test provided valuable data on the vehicle's performance and integration dynamics. The second test saw improvements over the first, with significant enhancements to the launch pad and vehicle design, particularly the fire suppression systems and the hot stage separation mechanism. This test achieved a partial orbit, though it too ended with the booster's destruction due to issues during the boostback burn. By the third test on March 14, 2024, SpaceX had made further adjustments. This test marked a significant achievement as the Starship successfully completed a full-duration second-stage burn and reached the intended orbital velocity for the first time. However, the vehicle broke up during re-entry into the atmosphere. Despite this, the test was considered a success in terms of achieving several key objectives, including a propellant transfer demonstration in orbit. SpaceX is preparing for the fourth test flight of its Starship vehicle, which could happen as early as the beginning of May. The analysis from the third flight is currently being used to make necessary adjustments for the upcoming test. This test will focus on improving the re-entry and landing processes, crucial steps towards SpaceX's goal of developing a fully reusable spacecraft. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.